Here I am getting started with my kinestasis demo. What I've done so far is to select an image. You can see mine on the left. I made a printout of that image and just made some really rough sketches of the different shots and some notes about the sequence and the camera movements that I'm thinking about executing. Now, obviously this is very rough. Uh, I still need to do a lot of polishing to it, um, but this really just helps me as a first stage uh, to get a rough draft of what approach I might be taking. So I've used that uh, image on the left with my sketch markups to build out the cue sheet that you see on the right. So I just decided to use a spreadsheet for this. Again, there's no right way or wrong way to do this as long as you're keeping track of the order of your shots, the framing of each of the images. So that is whether it's a close up, whether it's a medium, whether it's wide, roughly how long you're thinking of showing it on screen, what sorts of camera movement uh, you might be using and notes about transitions. The good thing about all of this planning so far is it's all flexible. None of this is set in stone. This is giving me sort of an outline or a guideline to work off of uh, so that I don't have to just make up everything as I go. So I'm gonna close out my sketch version and I've got the full resolution version of my image open in Photoshop. Um, I can check the pixel dimensions by going to image, image size. And if I change my units to pixels, I can see this is uh, roughly 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels. That's a nice uh, high resolution image that's gonna give me a lot of space to work with and be able to easily capture uh, frames of different sizes without degrading the image too much. So let's cancel out of here. And I'm just gonna spend some time going through uh, cropping out each of my individual shots that I plan for in my cue sheet. This is one way to approach uh, this process. So I could completely skip Photoshop if I wanted to. I could do all of my uh, sort of image scaling and separating out all of my shots inside of After Effects. To me, this makes it a little bit easier uh, to separate out this image into individual files and uh, work with those later on, bringing them into After Effects. So that's what I'm gonna do, but don't feel like this is the one singular way to do this. Uh, so what I'm looking for here is this first shot close up on the building. So that's right about here. Uh, what I'd like is for this little area where you see sort of the, uh, I don't know if those are like pillars or beams or whatever, uh, sort of jutting out. I want that to fill up the entire frame. And so uh, what I'm planning for here uh, in my animation is a 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel viewing frame. So I wanna make sure that I'm cropping here to a size where uh, that's gonna fill up that entire space. Uh, so I'm in my crop tool and I can pick different settings for that crop tool. Uh, I'm gonna go into the width height resolution. Um, I wanna make sure that I'm specifying the width uh, to be 1920 pixels. I'm gonna leave the other two blank for now because what I'm thinking about is making a crop here uh, that's actually taller than my viewing frame is gonna be uh, because I want this whole image to sort of slide behind that viewport uh, and come into view. So something like this. So the main point is I need to make sure that this image is taller than the viewport that I'm planning for. So I think something like that's gonna look pretty good. I'll go ahead and hit return on the keyboard to finalize my crop. And go up to the file menu and click save as. And I'll just save this as an image file. Uh, I'm starting from a TIFF, so uh, that's the option that it's giving me. I'll keep it that way. JPEG, PNG, uh, pretty much any image file type is gonna work just fine uh, for our purposes here. And I'm going to just label this frame. 001, go ahead and click save and just accept the default options. Now in Photoshop, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and undo that crop. So going back to the original image and uh, I'm just gonna go through, working through the rest of my cue list here, getting each of my uh, frames cropped out. Um, the main thing that I wanna pay attention to is that each of my crops needs to be at a minimum the size of my 
animation viewport. So again, in my case, that's 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. So I know that each crop needs to be at least that big, if not bigger. So let's say I was gonna zoom out or uh, grab left to right or boom up and down, uh, I would need an image that's actually bigger than that viewport. So I'm gonna spend some time uh, getting these crops in order and then we'll jump into After Effects. All right, so I've gone ahead and made all my crops based off my cue sheet. Now, I did notice that I was saving these out as TIFF files, which ended up giving me very large file sizes, probably too much uh, for my After Effects rig to handle. So I've got all my crops open in Photoshop and uh, I just need to flatten the layers and then save them out as a JPEG. Uh, so I'll go up to the layer menu, click on flatten image, then I can go ahead to file, save as, and I'll keep the same file names and just set my format to JPEG. So it'll give me a little bit more manageable file sizes. I'll go ahead and do that for the rest of my crops here.